Tom Show. Turn up your mind. There have been so many accomplishments under this administration, it can be difficult to list them in a distilled way. Recently, uh, the president hosted a send-off for Ron Klain, the departing mm -hmm. chief of staff, and he put it in a way that, that I thought was especially moving when you think back in historic terms to what it means to inherit one of the toughest situations faced by any president since FDR, pass the most significant uh, legislation uh, on our economy in many ways since FDR, while facing the largest land war uh, in Europe since Truman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> achieving the uh, second most important health care bill since LBJ and the most important infrastructure bill since Eisenhower, as, as Ron put it. And that was just the beginning of the list of accomplishments. Uh, but one of the things that, that we found is that, uh, you know, th this is happening simultaneously with some of the toughest circumstances ever. We recognize that. And there continue to be uh, a lot of issues that Americans are facing every day, even as we see extraordinary economic news. Uh, 500,000 jobs just created in the last month. Well, that's month. the thing. None of it seems to accrue to his benefit. Well, people say <laughs> that. But but then, uh, you know, this president yeah. has exceeded expectations again and again politically yeah. and functionally. And functionally. But, uh, you know, America just uh, like, what have you done for me lately? You know what I mean? It's like uh, nobody thinks that uh, Biden has accomplished as much as Biden has accomplished. It's just a fact. You know, uh, we had the inf uh, the Inflation Reduction Act. We had the Chips and Science Act. We had the infrastructure bill. We had the American Rescue Plan. I mean, it's amazing. And then, you know, you look at uh, what they're longing for over there on the other side of the aisle. And, uh, you know, they want us to be dying of COVID or uh, poisoned, uh, you know, pipes again or, you know, building absolutely nothing or, you know, separating women and children and calling it biblical a la Sarah Huckabee Sanders. You know, we, we need to reacquaint ourselves with uh, the lying that she does. But I mean, honestly, it, it, it is an amazing thing. There was a uh, polling done yesterday, and you know, it's uh, divided along party lines because that's America. But only 36% of America think that Biden is, uh, you know, done much. Really? What have you done? <laughs> it's like, it's the most amazing thing. You know, every, every jobs report we get, it's like even more jobs. Here's even more jobs. Here's 100,000 clean energy jobs that were announced since the uh, uh, Chips and Science Act, which, by the way, was not bipartisan, uh, was, uh, you know, uh, uh, put through, uh, you know, legislation and signed by the president. 100,000 clean energy jobs, 100,000 climate friendly jobs. I mean, uh, only Democratic votes for this. 100,000. And uh, people just like, eh, so what? You know, we got 90 projects that are, you know, just still, uh, you know, to come online. And we still have other projects that are online. You, I, I'm talking about solar, wind, battery, uh, electric charging stations, an infrastructure package that is building electric charging stations, even in Puerto Rico. I mean, like the whole entire America is getting investment, is, is, is you know, uh, modernizing, all, all because of, uh, you know, this president's priorities and being able to, uh, you know, shepherd things through Congress. So now we have this divided Congress, you know, and uh, they're, not, uh, they're, they're not interested. They're not interested in progress. They're interested in going backwards. They're interested in dying. They're interested in uh, Clorox. They're interested in ivermectin. They're interested in, uh, you know, lying from the podium. That's what they're interested in. You know, you want to drink water? Drink it from a poisoned uh, lead pipe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like clean water. Oh, our water is crystal clean. Have a president that talks about showers and toilets that take two flushes to flush or, or whatever the hell he was talking about for hours on end. So, you know, tonight is the State of the Union, and uh, Joe Biden isn't going to go through this whole list of things. He's not. He's, he's a forward-looking guy. He's going to look at the future. He's going to call for, you know, uh, 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 yes, he'll mention record job growth. Yes. Yes, he will. He'll say, you know, uh, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll say that inflation is reducing, but it's not down to where they, you know. But he's going to ask for taxes on the very, 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 very rich in this here country, uh, so that he can help veterans, so that he can help, uh, you know, uh, uh, people who are in need of health care, so he can help people who are suffering from opioid addiction, so he can help people who have mental illness, so he can, you know, like uh, basically disproportionately benefiting MAGA is what he's going to announce. You know, he's going to say he wants to tax the, the very wealthy in order to take care of just about everybody else. 